to Matthew. Oh, yeah. He became one of the twelve. He wrote the book of Matthew. After Jesus' ascension, eventually he went as a missionary. And the outcast tax collector changed millions of people's lives. Because even though the disciples and the Pharisees didn't get it at all, Jesus wasn't going to be stopped with what he was doing. They didn't get it. But he knew that he was coming to turn everything upside down. I long for a day when you and I get it on a personal level. Not just in a sense of, yes, Jesus is passionate about broken people. But where our heart beats in synchronization with his heart. Because I don't care what your background is, what your story is. You're probably not as outcast as Matthew was. And so God wants to use your life with the same power that he used Matthew's life. He wants your heart to beat with that same power, that same passion for seeing broken people. And bringing them into relationship and seeing their life change. And I pray that God puts his heart in ours. In my heart. In your heart. I told a story at the beginning about people that didn't get it and got kind of caught up in the other stuff. Praying, discussing how to pray. They end up finally praying. Praise God. And the vote turn, turned drastically. And it was voted to have Kimmy. That week, just in what I was aware of with young people, there were several kids who came to Christ. There was a kid who'd been under demonic oppression who found freedom. That by that night they figured out a way to get people into the camp. That which had seemed insurmountable wasn't. And God had an amazing victory. Because one lady stood up and said, We need to pray. One lady who was brave enough to stand up and say, we need to pray. I pray for you and I that we get it. That we get it the same way Jesus did. That what matters, the greatest thing outside of our own relationship with him, is seeing broken people around us. Seeing the Matthews. And Jesus stood there and he studied him. He looked into him and saw the man was hurting. And God will give you that same insight. If you look around your life and you, there's people that I bet without much study and you can say that person's hurting. And maybe they seem like the most unlikely person ever to find God or to be a rabbi. But if you look at them, you'd see they are hurting. <laughs> 